Good morning. I'm Dawn Combs for Soda Farm. And this morning, I'd like to talk a little bit about food insecurity. Last night, after work, I spent an hour crawling around in the bushes rescuing chickens that had been dropped off at the end of my road. And uh, it was an adventure. Uh, it's never boring around here on the farm. It made me think a lot about what's going on. I mean, right now we have a really pressing issue where people are headed into some, some pretty severe food insecurity. Our food pantries are being drawn down at rates that I'm not sure we've seen in a really long time. Um, Thanksgiving, the, the Thanksgiving meal note just came out. We're down another 4% in cost. And uh, that really annoys me every year because what that means is the farmer is being paid less and less. And at the same time, I see a note about uh, how we can help the farmer that's in need. Um, food insecurity is actually more than just, we talk about food deserts and we talk about lack of funds, we talk about lack of money when we talk about food insecurity. Food insecurity is so much more than that. Um, picking up those chickens, my heart hurt because um, it's possible that somebody dumped those chickens because they got into more than they really thought that they were going to. They got into more than what they bargained for. But it's also really possible that somebody released those chickens in the hopes that they would be okay or that somebody else would see them and pick them up because they simply can't afford to feed them. When you get so food insecure that the very thing that you bought to ensure that you could go out into your backyard and have food is costing you too much to be able to maintain, um, we have a problem. Food insecurity is about money, but and access to to good food but it's also about a lack of the the skills and the know-how we aren't passing down skills that allow us to be frugal with our time our money and our resources we have so bought into this idea of convenience and having somebody else um, somebody else cook for us or somebody else provide for us and all it takes is currency so that we're free to do something else that when we don't have currency we can't purchase the services that other people have been doing for us we don't have the skills and so we have a gap um, I last week did a sourdough class and I recorded it. It was a live in your kitchen class and I do plan on repeating those sorts of classes live, but I recorded it. And so that makes it available. It's, it's, uh, I'm going to add this to the link in our, when I post this on Facebook so that you can get to that class and, and see if you're interested in it. It comes with the culture and it also comes with the education on what to do with that culture. Um, it's just not going to be live. If you are in a place where you are beginning to wonder, I mean, bread costs three, four bucks a week just for one loaf. And in my family, we go through, if I'm buying it, we're going through probably $10 or more of bread a week. And it's bread that isn't really that great for us to be eating. So um, sourdough those sorts of skills can begin to put it down to pennies that you're spending on a loaf of bread, which frees up your resources for other bills and other food that you can't make. Uh, eggs are awesome in the backyard, and we have taken in 23 more chickens. Um, we will have more eggs, and that gives us protein that we don't have to go seek out if we are really tight on money. And we've been a small business and going through all of this pandemic, we've been really tight on money. If I didn't have the skills, if I didn't know how to make bone broth and make our own bread and soak and cook beans and rice, if I didn't know how to do all of those things, how to stretch our food dollar, how to make things on my own, our 
insecurity, our, our ability to keep a roof over our heads, um, our ability to keep the chickens in the backyard that we really like so that we can have fresh, healthy eggs. Uh, I would be in jeopardy. I would have been in jeopardy of keeping those things. So food insecurity can be a very simple thing about what money is it, um, the, the lack of money that's coming in or the low amounts of money that are coming in but it is dramatically affected by your skill set. So it is critical that you get out there and figure out how to learn those things. We are offering all of those skills. We're offering how to teach you those. I'm going to be having some free live uh, Zoom meetings coming up on how to work with some of the other cultures that we've got in the store. And... Um, others that you can kind of make on your own. We're all about teaching you how to um, how to do it yourself. That old saying, uh, I can teach you how to, I can give you a fish every day or I can teach you how to fish and you can eat forever. Uh, I would rather teach you how to fish and send you off. I'd rather help you with other things that maybe you can't do on your own and give you the gift of being able to stretch your food dollar and be more secure in your home and less stressed because you know that you can provide. Um, so if you dropped off those chickens and you're seeing this vlog, please know that they are going to be cared for. They're safe. They're fed. And also, um, let us know if that was you and we can help. Uh, this community here in Marysville is stepping up and, and working hard to take care of everybody in it. And that's how we really solve these problems. Um, we don't need big, top-down things. We need our neighbors. We need our churches. We need our community organizations. And we need to start learning to trust them and give our time and energy when we can and our money when we can and to then go to them when we can't. Uh, today I challenge you, if you are in need, to reach out and ask for help. Don't be shy. Uh, don't be ashamed. This is happening to everybody. Whether you planned ahead, whether, you're, uh, whether you've always taken care of yourself or not, reach out and ask for help because uh, this is how we teach. Uh, this is how we strengthen our community. Also, if you don't have those skills to help you in the gap, to learn how to stretch your food dollar, to protect your family, if you don't have those skills, you are not truly self-sufficient. You are not truly secure. So reach out, ask me what skills it is, uh, what skills you would like to learn. Um, check out that sourdough class. And um, I would challenge you to write down what skill you want to learn and go in search of somebody to teach it to you. Take that step to be just a little bit more secure today and you will be lower stressed. You will spend, you will spend less money tomorrow. Remember that real health is succeeded at one step, one small step at a time. Don't try to gobble all of this up in one sitting. We have to go slow so we don't overwhelm ourselves. So one step at a time. Always pat yourself on the back for the things that you've done better today than you did yesterday. Forward progress. And I'll see you here again tomorrow.